During a chaotic debate, Toronto City Council voted to strip controversial Mayor Rob Ford of most of his powers. As an angry Ford got into verbal exchanges with gallery spectators, he collided with one councillor, nearly knocking her over. Ford is refusing to resign despite being under fire after admitting to smoking crack cocaine, buying illegal drugs and drink driving. Well, I hope it sets a precedent for any future mayor that if they carry on the way this mayor has, they can expect similar treatment. This is nothing more than a coup d'etat. And if you don't know what a coup d'etat means, it means that you're overruling a government. And some people said, this is democracy. What's happening here today is not a democratic process, it's a dictatorship process. Rob Ford is a polarizing figure in Canada's largest city. His mainly working class supporters see him as their champion, while his more well-heeled liberal opponents regard him as an embarrassment. Toronto's council is unable to remove him from office according to provincial law.